so earlier we have compared or earlier we have defined the tfidf similarity isn't it i'll write it here earlier we have defined the tfidf similarity tfidf document scoring so given a term it will be having a high weight for a query if it is occurring many times in the document and if it is occurring less number of times in the collection so it is more frequent in the document and rare as whole in the collection okay now is there a relationship that we can derive from i mean from this this kind of a model from this general linear smooth language model into a tfidf based model now before discussing that let me discuss another thing <clears throat> here or any other let's discuss it here <clears throat> so the score of a document is considered as the product of all the query terms the query and then then something something or the other so let's write it following the linear smooth language model probability of q given d plus 1 minus lambda probability of q given c okay now consider this what i am doing for each query term i am computing this score and i am basically i'm uh, multiplying the individual scores let's say if the query is say three term sorry then the score for this query for a given for any document will be basically this is a very important concept please focus a little bit score of q1 in d into let's make it start score of q2 in d into score of q3 in d <clears throat> now as you may know in computer multiplication takes a significant time multiplication between two terms say a and b takes a significant time then doing some kind of a say for performing some kind of an addition so what we can do how can we replace the multiplication here with an addition can someone uh, guess essentially again the ultimate target is to score the document to produce finally to produce a rank list so essentially what we can do such that the rank list will be remaining the same but we can save some time uh, on on doing this kind of an operation how can we save some time to avoid this kind of an operation to be performed anyone take log log likelihood very nice so we can actually perform so instead of computing this what we can do is we can compute the log of ab which will be basically log of a plus log of b so here basically am is log a n is log b so the score will be different but uh, the rank will be remaining the same here also we will be doing something same 
So so in order to compute the score using this product say probability of let's say q given some theta or theta is the language model and i'm just i mean i'm not extending it so we what we can do is we can perform a log which will be equivalent the score will be equivalent to summation over all the query terms in the query log of probability of q given theta so extending this it is essentially summation over all query terms <clears throat> log of say lambda into probability of theta given d plus 1 minus lambda into probability of theta given c so using this from product we can actually come to a sum now let's come back to the discussion that we are having so can we somehow derive a corresponding tfidf based kind of an of uh, expression from this language model so here probability of q given d is computed using probability of uh, product over all query terms now yes another thing is note that this we started with a probability this is actually a probability isn't it but this is not a probability isn't it probability anymore isn't it so this probability is computed over all query terms and their multiplication okay and how can we extend this in terms of product as well is let's consider the query terms having two different sets is basically coming falling into two different portion of the Venn diagram let's say here in this Venn diagram this blue part is the query terms uh, which are occurring this portion is the document terms and this overlapping or the intersection is basically specifying those terms which are occurring both in query as well as in document okay now <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, now we are computing the score for this this portion. Now it can be broken up into two portions, like those which are occurring in the document as well as the query, and those which are occurring only in the in the query but not in the document. This portion. So following that, if we break it up, so product over all query, query terms in the query can be broken up into all terms which are in the intersection of query and document into for all query terms which are occurring in the difference between the query and the document. So this is basically all those query terms for which uh, the term is not occurring in the document. So now let's focus on this part for the time being. Now as the term is not occurring in the document, so this is specifying that the query is term is not occurring in the document. So TF of the query term in the document will be what? Anyone? Come on. So that query term is occurring in the query but not in the document so this part so what is what will be the term frequency of that query term in the document zero zero correct 
So it is not occurring in the document. So this entire part will be becoming zero. So what we will be ending up with is basically that part cancelled. We'll be ending up with only this. Okay. Now let's multiply this thing, uh, uh, a common term as a fraction in the numerator as well as denominator. What I'm doing is here, I am introducing a product over all query terms which are occurring in the document as well as in the query, basically this intersection. Their collection probability multiplied by 1 minus lambda. So this is basically the same thing I am introducing. So we, it can cancel each other. Now, I will be combining this, the, the denominator with this numerator. So how, and, and of course, this part, okay, let's first consider this part. Here, what I am doing, this is all the query terms, which is not in the document. For them, it is basically computing its query generate query term generation probability from the collection. This is not dependent on the document. And this entire thing is not dependent on the document. Right? So essentially, uh, we can <coughs> also another thing is, yeah. So another thing is, this is essentially this. So here query term is occurring here. And this is, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. This is basically all the query terms coming from here. This part. And this part is basically all those query terms occurring in both query as well as document. And the thing over which this product is computed is basically same. So we can combine them together. So this part is basically product over all query terms, product over query terms which are occurring in the query, not in the document. And product over all query terms which are occurring uh, in the query as well as in the document. So essentially, if we combine them, it is basically product over all query terms. So we can combine them together, which will be this. And note that this is not actually dependent on the document, which we are scoring. Now consider this part. This part is common for both of them. This is essentially all those terms which are occurring in the query as well as Combine them together is basically so this part is same the product over which the product over all the query terms in the document as well as in the query is common. And if we do this simple mathematics, so basically you can see this is same. This part and this part is same. So basically they will so essentially, if we do this, we'll be seeing. So canceling this for the time being, just canceling because it is not actually involving any document information. Our essential task is to score the document, that is rank the document. So canceling this part, what we have is basically some, this product is now taken outside for both numerator and denominator. So so from here, so this is simple. And here, what I'm doing is this and this is same. So basically one, this dividing by this. And this divided by this is basically lambda by one minus lambda, lambda by one minus lambda <coughs> into TF of this, this part. And in the denominator, it was CF of Q by C. So it will be C by CF by Q, CF of Q, sorry. Is it clear? This derivation from here to here. Any question on this?
So essentially, let me again walk you through. First, where what we are doing is we are first breaking up this entire this entire circle into two parts. Those which are occurring only in the doc uh, only in the query, and those which are occurring both in the query as well as in the document. which is actually not dependent on the document as well. Now what we are doing is we are combining this two. Which is basically again. So this part is this part. This part is this first part. This part is basically the second part. Combining them is basically considering the entire uh, Venn diagram here. So basically all query terms. <coughs> And now this part will cancel because essentially we want to rank the document and introducing this for all the documents, it will be just changing the score, but the overall rank will not be uh, will not be changing. That's why we are canceling this. Now here, this product is performed over the same domain. That is all the query terms, which is occurring both in the query and in the document. So that is taken out. The now numerator is this, the, the thing we started with, and the denominator is this, what we introduced. Now, doing this simple uh, arithmetic, we'll be ending up with this. We can also write it as product over all query terms in document, one plus lambda into lambda by 1 minus lambda into probability of the query term given md divided by probability of query term given mc because this is the probability of this is basically 1 by probability of uh, the query term given mc isn't it this part <coughs> And introducing this log logarithm will be basically computing their summation. Now, how they are actually similar with the IDF? So if we look at the equation again, this is basically the smoothed term frequency. This is basically similar to something which is IDF. So in the IDF, what we have done is n by DF. Here, what I am doing is collection size by CF. So they are equivalent. I mean, they are not exactly the same, but sometimes we can also use this notation or uh, we use this formation in terms of computing the rare the rareness of a term. This is IDF, and this is something similar to IDF. So, when a document will be given more weight, when for the rare term that is less collection frequency, will be producing more weight, which is equivalent to IDF but from this rate part. So, as I was saying, IDF is kind of equivalent to this notation, although the actual IDF formula is basically inverse of document frequency. Document frequency of the term is this. Inverse of this is basically n by df. So here it is c by cf. So essentially it is the tf. This is approximately the idf. 